Take it easy. Open the gate. Open the gate, Allah. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy with her. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take her inside. Okay, I will. Okay. Look here. Look. Wait. 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 Okay, yeah, a woman like me, I understand what's going on. Calm down, okay? So let's go inside and sort it out. Count this on the road, okay? okay? It's very long talk. Then Allah will get you. Let's go inside. Then Allah will get you. Let's go. Let's go. Then Allah will get you. Then Allah will get you. Allah will get you. Allah will get you. Calm down. Good day and welcome to your favorite show, Lifelines with Mima. This is the one show that we bring you entertainment, we bring you education, and most of all, will bring you real life stories that change your life and the lives of those around you. It's about to get interesting. It's a good time to grab a jota and a pen. It's a good time to also invite your neighbor. It's about to go down. Come with me. Let's meet our clients for the day. I have with me Alaji Sule and his lovely wife, this is, must be our new Amaria, Mrs. Rukaya. You are both very welcome. Nurma, I thank you very, very much. Thank you for coming. Uh, <coughs> uh, Nurma, Nurma, yes. how many times I call you? Three times. Nurma, don't Allah this woman. Do you want to kill me? Until you see me dead? So would Allah. Okay, Nurma, well, I, since I married this my wife, yeah. She has not given me this thing to do it seven times. Come on, Wallahi, any time we are together, Wallahi, Abu, you don't used to do me jangoloba, jangoloba on my body. Please, um, can we talk in private, please? Okay, Wallahi, Talahi, you must talk here. Can you call Rukaya, Wallahi? Okay, let me ask you a question. Who is eating my food? Who is sabotaging my engine? Rukaya. Okay, in Gamaki, let me tell you the truth. Wallahi, Talahi, Bazam Baki Seki Ukuba. I will never divorce you until you give me seven children. Kajamu Sheri. Okay, look at your sabbath on my engine. Let's take it. Okay? Let's take it. Mumma will lie. I'm respecting you. I know. I know. I'm respecting Let's you. Let's take a minute. Please calm down, Alleg. No. He hasn't gotten to that. Calm down. Calm down. Let's 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 find out what the problem is, okay? Don't Allah Asa. Okay, calm down. Uh, please, can we talk in the private, please? Okay, yeah, your husband is insisting and if you don't if we don't tell him, if we don't talk in his presence to tell him what the problem is, how then do we find a solution? Except if he's not the problem. I really don't talk in public, but since he insists, I will talk. I insist. Okay. Don't Allah say something. Don't Allah, please. I just don't want to be misunderstood. That's all. But then, okay, there are just two major things. They are bothering me. Okay. I love my husband sincerely, it's but I am okay. dying gradually in this marriage. You're dying? Yes, I am. Look, I am. Please, I, I can't. Allah, Allah, Who is killing you in this marriage? Don't Allah. Please calm down. I Please. cannot kill you. I. Please. Sorry. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> you must really be upset. Sorry. Okay, let's take a minute now. Okay. Okay, so let's um. Let's take a minute to calm things down. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it's Lifelines with Mima. And we're treating a very sensitive topic today. I still have our clients for today with me, Alegi Sule, and his wife, Rukaya. Okay, let me ask you a few questions. Were you forced into this marriage? Or <clears throat> are you seeing someone else? Abba, no, 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 ma, not at all. Okay. okay. I Listen. can never do that. Why would I do that? My husband needs to work on neatness. Okay. Rukaya, wallahi, inna mariki, 
You say I'm dirty. Allergy. Up I slap you here. Allergy. Allergy. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Calm. Go ahead. Kigama. Go ahead. Alhaji hardly brush. His breath is so offensive. He has this strong mouth. Wallahi talai kai murma. This is the highest level of insult. Wallahi talai. Man of my tumba and calibrato. This my wife will sit down here and insult me. Kai mima, I cannot take this insult. Mima, do you know me? Do you know how I married this woman? Wallahi, I married this woman with 20 shanu, 20 cow. Wallahi, 30 lago. Had the camel. Kusan camel rakumi. I used 42 to marry her. Now she sat down here and told me, Morma, let me ask you a question. Okay. Every time that you come to your office, yeah. do you do you come with your toothbrush? No, I don't. Eh? When I come, I'm going to the to the mosque, I'm going to the market, I take my uh, my my, my choice stick. I see. And you say my mouth is offensive? Well, I am not my reiki. Ah, allergy. I'm not my reiki. Calm down, allergy. Please, calm down. La ilaha illallah. Calm down. Well, I feel insulted. Calm down. Calm down, please, allergy. Let her talk. Let her talk. We asked her to talk, okay? So let her talk. You know, you said there are two things. You've talked about one. What's the second thing? And the worst of it is their queer smell. A ah, queer smell. La mean, ilaha illallah. You mean goat smell? Yes. A queer? Ma, you see, sleeping or even staying close to my husband is, is a big war. Mm. I mean, he has this terrible body odor. It's think. so offensive and unbearable, and those things really turns me off. What, okay? Look at you, you're calling me a goat. No, no, no. You're no, calling no. me a goat. No, she didn't mean it that oh, way. What, what, you, very soon you will call me Rago. Okay, mm -mm. but mm -mm. later I feel assaulted. No, don't feel so. Can you go? Don't feel so. Can you go? Calm down. Well, I look at my eyes. Mm -hmm. I know you are upset. If not because I respect you. I know you are upset. Okay. Calm well, down. Well, later, let me teach you a lesson. Ah, 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 Allergy, we asked her to talk, okay? okay? We minimum. told her to open up. You know okay? I respect you. Yeah, so let's take a minute, okay? Let no, me, Allah, let me talk I to you. Because I respect you, I'll just, okay. I'll just calm down. Don't okay, Allah. calm down. I'll just calm down. Okay, so let's okay. talk about this, okay? Let's take a minute now. You're still watching Lifelines with Mima. Welcome to our Situation Room. Let's see what our discussants think about this very, should I say funny, <laughs> or not so funny matter. Let me start with you, Ngozi. What do you think? Like you rightly said, it is, um, it's funny, but then very serious. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because you can't, um, it's almost embarrassing mm -hmm. to hear someone say, uh, uh, but, your exactly so um it, it this is quite serious because a lot of people have that without even i don't know whether will i say they don't know or they know but they don't know how to treat the problem because uh, most people that have that they actually take their bath brush their teeth a lot yeah. of them actually almost obsess about brushing their teeth so but because somehow Yes, mm -hmm. it, it just persists. Mm -hmm. it, it is a condition. Yes. It's, uh, it's called halitosis. Or, uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. so it, it is Are a condition. Mean, don't call it halitosis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 halitosis. But, but just, just ask and I will pronounce it again. Mm -hmm. I had Halima, but you because it is one of my wife's sisters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's halitosis. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, it's, it's actually a medical condition. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, Chile, what do you think? <clears throat> Halitosis disease is a very serious disease. Mm -hmm. Well, in that man's case, it's a very minor thing. Uh, there are so many um, health pays out there, so many health uh, toothbrushes out there. And I think if the woman is actually in love with the man or happens to be the true wife of the man, she can always seek for medical attention, you know, in order to assist the husband first, rather than allowing such, you know, incident to have come up to this kind of, you know, level of pu uh, public uh, hearing. Malam, so what do you think? Oh, Mother, meanwhile, I don't think anything. I only feel pathetic. Mm. Why is the reason is that uh, if you look at it critically, you quite agree that when they were caught, this area did not uh, bring up the issue mm. because she's simony. Mm. Now the man wants to 
enter into the other room. Mm. She is now reporting. Mm. You see, these genders, we need to put them on the toll. Mm. Is 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 a is a mount order and body order. Mm. These are natural gifts. You have to marry it together. Mm. You understand? <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's not a laughing stock. Mm. Even it's stock, right you know, well, even stock fish has an order, mm. and you have to eat it. Mm. So <laughs> marriage, as it were, is a comparison. Mm. You can't pick and, and drop. Mm. It's not a hairstyle. Mm. They call pick and drop. Mm. If you are taken, you take everything. Plus the order. Everything is two <laughs> packets. So I, I, I think I fought the, the other agenda. Let her go back to the husband. Mm. How about you? <laughs> I will still uh, want to tell Alaji mm. that there's a solution to every problem. Mm. You know, uh, Alaji was trying on his own because I could remember that I saw him with chewing stick. Mm. But probably he's trying his best in a wrong way. You know, let me, let me tell you, Mala Majebo, halitosis, a condition that makes mouth smell, whether you brush it or not. Not to talk of somebody that hardly do the need for, you know. Forget about the fact that it's, it's his wife, he has married, he must, she must carry everything, you know, marry everything about Alaji. Alaji's wife could not bear it. Do you know what it means when somebody has mouth odor and body odor? Combined. Combined. An allergy will want her always, you know, every time. Mm -hmm. New wife. I understand and very I well. I, I'm sure he doesn't whisper. I understand. He always <laughs> let me whisper. I un you, now you are getting it. <laughs> I understand very well it's what the wife was afraid of. Mm -hmm. And that day, I, I'm sure she, she didn't even want to say it because it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Very embarrassing. So um, I think we will need to talk to them that she should just give allergy some time because allergy too is willing to change. Mm. That's the most important. The thing is, <clears throat> the condition is one that can be born from other problems, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes our mouth smell because we have mouth ulcers. Mm -hmm. That's a medical condition of yes. its own. Sometimes it, it smells, I, I remember a lawyer friend of ours long time ago that, that uh, a friend finally summoned the courage to tell him, bros, you know, your mouth, try to, you know, people have been talking and I, I thought as a friend I should talk yeah, to you. Yeah. He knelt down and thanked him. He said, they are the only one that has ever asked me. I have bad ulcers. It's not because I don't wash my mouth. The smell comes from my stomach oh. and there's very little I can do. Okay, so in that kind of situation, we need to, to um, understand that, you know, it's not everybody that is about hygiene. Some are dealing with much more serious, serious medical, medical conditions medical that may be causing such odors. There are some people that also sweat excessively. It's also another condition. Some of us hardly sweat, if you notice. Some sweat profusely. And you, have, you see them having their showers two, three times a day, yet they still sweat, is also another extreme. So, so uh, it, it's, it's a different thing if this person is just deliberately being dirty and unhygienic, but it's another thing if this person has a medical condition. In Alaji's case, however, I think it's him just not being very enlightened about how to keep That's clean. Yeah, because he's still using a chewing stick that cannot actually properly clean your yes. mouth. And then another thing is we have a poor culture of visiting our dentist in Nigeria is, is when the mouth is this swollen that you remember and I am a, I'm very guilty of that. We all My are. dentist only sees me when they see me like, mm hmm, is he paining you now? I say yes. yes. Once they treat me and I feel better, I take off and I, I and I don't come back again until I'm in pain again. Like, madam, you didn't finish your treatment. You started, you should have finished. And then when I'm in pain, that's when I remember. We don't also have a culture of prevention. Preventing medicine, yes. We always wait until it's really bad before we treat. So, so these are some of the areas that we need to look at. So uh, you sit near someone in the bus and the person talks and you're like, hey, you know, sometimes let's just be nice to one another by politely saying, sir, or madam, or my friend, have you taken time to do this? Or is your toothpaste finished? Or just like he said, this is his wife. This is Alaji's wife. It's not a strange woman. That is the problem. Yeah, it's not say, a strange woman. She should anything. be able to help her husband out. 
I mean, my saying it is not a problem, is how would the person take it? And that is why people are very reluctant. And, yeah, and again, too. and again, ju just check the culture of these people. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, very shy. Sub yeah. Yeah. They hardly come out to say anything, yeah. especially in front of their spouse. Yes. So that's know, another thing. That's yes. another thing. Because there you should be seen as a woman, not heard. Not heard. Yeah. So, I mean, that Alaji can even take that as an insult, which he did he actually. Did. He did. Yes, mm -hmm. at the beginning of the conversation, he's like, huh? Insulting me, I have my twin mm. stick here. Nobody is as clean as I am, you know, and all that. But the truth is, hey, we need to, this is why we need to move away from the culture of not talking. Everybody pretends here, it is well, it is well. We are dying slowly as a people. We are crumbling, yet we are not talking. Let's begin to talk more because it's getting out of hand and something has to be done. And if we do not do the work, nobody else will do the work. All right, that's all time has permitted us to take. Let's see what we can do to help this couple. There's more after this break. We'll be right back. Let's talk about this, okay? Allergy, in the first place, you know, I'm sure she appreciates your efforts and everything, and she knows what you went through to marry her. Okay, so that's, that's a big deal, and we acknowledge that. But you see, the issue of mouth odor and body odor is not something that is it's only you that suffers from it. Most people do. The beautiful part of it is that there are different solutions to it. The chewing stick is good, but it's not enough because it cannot wash the tongue properly. Okay, so you need a good toothbrush and actually good toothpaste. Now, if you, if you use that, and you regularly floss, and then also use your mouthwash, a lot will improve. So at the end of each day or each meal, you make sure you rinse your mouth out because it's not even everywhere a toothbrush can go. Uh, but anywhere it doesn't go, your floss and your mouthwash would go. Before you go, don't worry, I would write down some things for her to buy for you that you can start using, she will encourage you to use, that will make things better. For that of the body odor, now all you need to do is shave properly and use your deodorants and roll-ons, okay? All you just need to do is to have a clean armpit, clean private part. Sorry I have to be this uh, personal, but we need help, okay? So you need to use your deodorant often, you need to wash up often, you need to bathe often, okay? now. There are some foods that also cause mouth odor and body odor, like some foods like garlic. You know, there are some sp strong spices in our dishes that, are also, that can also affect you, okay? So let's, as his wife, be conscious of that and encourage him to do better, okay? For the smoking energy, you know, that's not good for your health. We need to also look into that, okay? Right? Mm? Uh, to me, ma. Thank you very much, nobody. Aha. Uh -huh. I know you know she loves you, okay? If once this is sorted, you will see how much love that she's gonna exude, okay? Everything will be fine. Let's just take these steps. Alaji, are you calm or you're still angry? Because she has to say she's sorry, don't worry. She will apologize, okay? But at least you've heard us, okay? Mama, that's seven times. She need to give me that seven times. She will give you. Kinjiko? She will give you. But you do. That's seven times you give me. Kinjiko? But yeah, will you do what you're supposed to do? I do it. I'll do it. I it's not the problem. I will solve the problem. You okay. are the medical doctor. I. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. I'm the medical doctor. I'm happy. Oh. As long as you do that, I'm sure that things would improve. Okay. Yes, oh, I'm okay. Are you okay? Yes. Any yes. other thing? No, not at all. Okay. So we we'll have something to say there. We are good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. Reconciliation has started, peace has begun, we'll take it from here. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the guest corner of your favorite show, Lifelines with Mima. Today I have with me Dr. Ogunyemi Kayode. He's going to be educating us about the issue at hand today. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I'm delighted. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, you've seen our matter for the day. Uh, Alaji is troubled. 
his wife is not happy. What do you think Alaji should be doing that he's not doing? Um, I think Alaji is putting too little attention on his overall health. Okay. If Alaji has a problem with his wife that borders down on mouth order, mm -hmm. I think he needs to see his dentist okay. to have his mouth checked. Mm -hmm. And not only Alaji, so many families have had issues in their marriages mm. because oral health borders on psychological health too. Mm. What are the general misconceptions and mistakes that we, we make? I feel Nigerians mm. should take their oral health very important. Okay. They should see their dentist regularly. Mm. And um, another misconception is that so many Nigerians believe that their one day brushing mm. is enough uh -huh. <laughs> but mm. usually mm. you're supposed to brush twice daily okay morning and night and evening, you okay. brush at night mm. before after just before you go to bed mm. then you brush after breakfast after in, breakfast not before morning, not before breakfast in okay the mm. most of them have a lot of boring jobs uh -huh. and they sit for in long. their offices for long without talking mm. and once saliva stagnates in the mouth for too long mm. it produces some odoriferous gases ah. that comes out and is this smell that you hear mm. when the patient talks. Mm, wow. So I feel once you are able to take care of your oral health by mm. seeing your dentist, mm -hmm. doing regular cleaning mm. once every six months, okay. because our normal brushing will usually not suffice. Mm. For It will usually not suffice. Mm -hmm. So we need a mechanical way of cleaning the mouth. Okay. And also, okay. it is not about the quantity of brushing, mm. but the quality of brushing. Uh -huh. Is your brushing qualitative? Mm. Is, is it effective? Mm. Is your toothbrush the right type exactly. of toothbrush? Exactly, exactly. Yes. Most Nigerians use a very hard toothbrush. Yes. Religiously, they mm -hmm. feel like brushing the teeth very hard cleans the tooth, mm. but it has detrimental effect okay. on the tooth. Mm. So you have to use the medium textured toothbrush mm. to clean your tooth. Medium? Medium textured. Okay. okay. And also, even if you want to clean, you have mm. to clean all the corners of your mouth. Uh -huh. That's your teeth mm -hmm. and your tongue. Mm. Because the tongue is the main center mm. for where the odor comes out from. Mm. It has some Papillaries. So mm. between the papillaries, mm. organism can fester around those papillaries. Mm. And once it's not properly cleaned, mm. then you have a problem. Allergies should also be careful about his sexual predisposition. Uh -huh. For mm. example, there are some there are a lot of plethoras of organism mm. in the mouth. Mm. And they are like in an ecosystem. Mm. So once you introduce another foreign organism into that area, okay. it becomes Virulent ah. and might disrupt the ecosystem. Huh. Ah. So that's why your mouth is very, very important. You must be very careful hmm. where you put your mouth. Hmm. And mouth odor alitosis can be transmitted. Hmm. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, it can be transmitted through kissing. Hmm. And not only mouth odor, a lot of organisms hmm. or disease conditions can be transmitted through kissing. Wow. Thank you so much, Doctor. You've yeah. been very helpful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. There you have it. Even I am learning. A lot of times we take these little things for granted. But it's important and critical that we are conscious and careful about how we care for our bodies, starting from the top all the way to the bottom. There's more after this break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Lifelines with Mima. If you're just joining us, you've missed out on quite a bit because we're almost out of time. Before we go, I'd like to leave a little something with you. The issue of mouth and body odor may seem trivial and funny, but it's actually not. It's actually something very serious that affects families, marriages, careers, and so much more. Of course, another thing is that it can also be a clear indication of a very serious medical condition. So if you're out there struggling with any of these problems, it's high time you step out to look for help. There's a lot of products out there, a lot of doctors out there that can help you. Okay? Now, from all of us here, and until we see you next time, don't forget that you don't need to go through life's issues alone. You know why? Mima cares.